In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to make nested CMS items from Webflow using HTMX. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to HTMX.org. We're going to copy this script and we're going to put this into the head of our Webflow project and save. Inside Webflow, I'm going to show you quickly how I've set this up. We've got two collection items. We've got categories and projects. On our page here that we want the items to be nested, I have a collection list that is connected to our categories. And inside this, we've got our collection item with our heading, that is the category name, and then a small spacer. Inside our categories template, I've already got a project collection list here with our collection items. And I've just made a very simple card inside there that has got an image and a H3 heading. The first thing we need to do here is we need to filter this according to the categories. So we're going to go down and add this filter and say that the categories contains the current category. So this means that these categories will be based off of what the category is in the CMS. So you can see here in our CMS collections inside of projects, the project categories are set up as a multi-reference field. And if we go into each of the individual projects, they are connected by these categories, this category multi-reference field here down at the bottom. And you can see here now we've got multiples of these. So we're going to be able to nest these in multiple different headings. Back in here in the home page, we're going to set this up using HTMX. Underneath the spacer, I'm going to add in an embed. Inside the embed, we're going to start setting up our HTMX attribute. So I'm going to open up a div and just close that off quickly. The next thing that we need to do is we need to get the content from the pages. So we're going to use the hx get attribute. I'm going to let that equal to the page that we want. The page that we want it has a folder category and then it followed by a slug. So we're going to copy the category. We're going to put that at the start and then we're going to add the slug to the end to that. So this makes this dynamic. So now we're able to, we're going to be pulling content from each of these dynamic pages, but we don't have any trigger on this yet. So we need to use the hx trigger attribute, and we're going to let that equal to load. So that means that when this page loads, HTMX will be triggered to find the content inside this page. You can see, I just made a typo error. So I'm going to change that to hx, save that publish and we'll refresh that. And now straight away, you can see that we've got content nested underneath each of these headings, but this isn't the final solution. So if you can see here, we've got a lot of space here. So I'm just going to inspect this and we're going to have a look and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. This is the embed and this is the HX get. And the get on load has triggered that it's pulled the content inside the body of the page that we're looking for. So we're after taking the page wrapper, the main wrapper, the section, the global padding and everything in between. But not only that, we've pulled in, if you can see here, I've got a Slater script and we've got all these scripts here. So when you pull the body, you're pulling everything inside the body. So we're even pulling the scripts that are there. You can see that we've got all these errors in our console because we've got duplicate scripts being shown. I'm going to show you now how we can remove that. So what you need to do is we need to go back into our embed and we're going to use the hx select attribute. And this is going to target an ID on the page that we're looking to pull the content from. And we're going to use the hashtag to create an ID. And again, we're going to use the slug, the dynamic slug from Webflow. So now we're going to go over to our categories page and we're going to look at what is it that I want to pull over. So the content that I want to pull over is all of this content, but we don't really need to take the wrapper. So I'm just going to put a dynamic ID. So this ID is going to be unique for this particular project list. So we're just going to publish that and see what has happened. So you can see now things are looking much better. We don't have that unnecessary padding. And if we inspect our page, we just have the CMS item. And we don't have any of the duplicate JavaScript on our page. Now there's one more thing that I 
want to fix on this because you can see here we've got our embed but i want to remove this embed i don't want this embed to be here i just want it to be a nice clean html so how are we going to do that so back inside in webflow i'm going to go back to our home page and we're going to find our embed and we're going to open that up now we're going to use the hx target attribute and this it works by targeting ids so we're going to create another ID using the hashtag and add the slug to that. The next attribute that we're going to use is the HX swap. And by default, the HX swap is in our HTML. And you can see that from when we inspect this, that we're swapping inside this div. So I want to target this div here so that we swap this HTML with this div. So we're going to change this to outer HTML and then we're going to target this ID. So we're going to save this here and we're going to go up to our embed element and we're going to give that an ID of slug. We're going to click publish. We're going to refresh our page and now I'm going to inspect this and you can see that our list item starts here underneath our category wrapper and we no longer have the embed. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and thanks for watching.